So I recently got back from Briarfest and that was the trip of a lifetime, an experience I will never forget. Hey everybody, it's DJ B. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Darren. If you don't know what Briarfest is, it's a three-day festival held in Lexington, Kentucky by the toy company Briar Model Horses. This year was my first year that I was actually able to go in person and attend the festival. We did actually book tickets in 2020. Obviously, that didn't happen. My mom was always intending on coming with me to Briarfest and her health declined very suddenly. So she hasn't been 100% and I won't go into that too much in depth. It's kind of autoimmune factors. I was going to try and go in 2023, but she wasn't super healthy. She wasn't gonna be able to come and I felt really guilty. I didn't want to just go on my own. I wanted her to experience my first Briarfest with me. That year, she ended up having to do several courses of different treatments to better her health. Luckily, the treatment worked, so she was able to come with me for 2024. I had a group of friends that I was chatting with online and we booked a house rental and decided to fill the house full of people that we knew of online but a lot of these people I've never actually met in person. It's kind of crazy because this has been such a long-standing goal dream of mine and as a kid of course I wanted to go to Briarfest and wanted to go shopping. I wanted one of those massive halls that they lay out on their bed when they get home. Like that's all I really wanted from Briarfest when I was younger. And obviously since I've become more involved in the art side of things and more on the influencer social media side of things, it's really changed. And it's a lot more about the people, it's a lot more about fostering this kind of art form, but more like I think the inspiring art side of it where it's so cool to meet these people that have done this for a living for many, many years and to meet all the people that have inspired me to start to meet all the people that I inspired to start. It was a really full circle moment for me. This whole thing I've been doing basically funded the experience. So thank you to all of you who watch my videos because the YouTube money sent me to Briarfest. The coolest part about the whole experience was that I was able to see in like tangible form the impact that this channel has, the impact that my art has and my videos and my content. I live a very isolated life. It's very easy to get kind of sucked into my own little world bubble. And I don't really like, I think, understand the full extent until I went on this trip and I was overwhelmed by so much generosity and kindness. All this work, this like seven years of grind and struggle and holding two jobs, making it happen and not knowing if it was the right decision has all paid off. I cannot thank you all enough for this. Um, gonna try not to cry. Oh my gosh. I work really hard. Like I don't think it's fully understood sometimes to the extent of which I do this on a daily basis. I've always just really wanted it to work and it's always just made a lot of sense. This is what my heart wants. I never could have imagined that making tutorials and teaching workshops and doing that side of it would be so gratifying and so fulfilling. And I really saw that with my own eyes over Briarfest. I don't have words to describe it because it's just such a surreal, abstract feeling and concept. I want to say thank you to everyone that came to say hi, everyone that waited in the insane meet and greet tent line. I got to do that with Trinity or Infinity Briars on YouTube as well. And we have very similar platforms for our business where we have the business side of it. You know, she's a tack maker, I'm a customizer. And then we also do the YouTube videos. Both of our moms were there and they got to have a little conversation behind us while we were, you know, doing the interaction with all of the people. Briarfest is such a unique experience because it brings everybody together from all over the world. And we all love the same things. We're all being supported by Briar and supporting them back. It's such a niche thing that doesn't happen in a lot of areas of life. It really showed me the power of it. It really showed me the potential of it. It really inspired me to keep going. I'm so thankful. I like, I can't say that enough times. And 
I will do my very, very best to continue to make this as positive and as reassuring and educational as possible so that you're able to have a piece of this in your life. A lot of us are socially awkward little horse girls who've been bullied and are living in a world that's hard at times. And I want this to be a place that we can come to and we can grow together and we can laugh and we can talk and we can cry and we can be inspired and we can just make horses. <laughs> Trying not to cry. <laughs> but I really appreciate Briar and everything they've done to support us as artists, as independent small businesses. I want to thank them for hosting this wonderful event. It's so much work, it's so much effort, and it, it's really, it really shows through. I, I can't imagine this so much coordination. I really am not a person that enjoys the spotlight. I'm learning my self-confidence through making this kind of content and through sharing my artwork and having it reach people, seeing where it goes, seeing that I have something to give the world back. and. It's crazy because as a kid, that's essentially what I wanted out of my life. I sat with myself a lot, wondering how I was supposed to make an impact on the world. I, I wanted it, but I didn't exactly know how I was supposed to get that. I couldn't have imagined that it would be for, for horse art, for literally my core, the essence of who I am. There's, there's, there's just no, there's no words. Like I, I can't tell you how like my entire life has built to these moments. Like right now, like I am so happy here, <laughs> and I've done it, and now I've like seen it. I've, I've seen it. Like I saw you guys. I really did see you guys. And so it's really bizarre to like even just think back to those moments where. I wasn't sure what I wanted out of my life and I wasn't sure where I would go and I wasn't sure if I was a good enough artist. There's a part of me that couldn't let that go. Now I've gone to Briarfest and I had fans waiting for an hour and a half to see me just to say hi. Not just say hi, I had so many kids say that they started painting because of me. They reached for a paintbrush for the first time in 10 years. It helps them get through their illness. It helps them cope with life. It makes them laugh every Wednesday. And then the parents, my daughter was bullied. And has no friends because they think she's weird because she likes horses a little too much. <laughs> and she found your videos. And now she no longer feels like she has to be scared. I'll leave it at that because I think you can infer what that means to me and that's why I'm here. And so coming back from this vacation, this trip, really showed me why I'm here. Why we need people who support us, around us, who encourage us, who teach us. And I will forever continue this. The video is why this all exists. It can feel like a lot sometimes, but it is so, 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 so worth it. I wasn't necessarily bullied growing up. I think I was too stupid to notice if I was being bullied. Um, I was just so infatuated and I was the psycho horse girl that cantered laps around the school and chased all the boys. But maybe that has always just been me and that I've never let the opinion of others sway me. I mean, we all experience imposter syndrome to a degree and we all experience doubt and stress and insecurities and I definitely have those and I don't always feel the most positive or think the most positive so having this and making that a focus helps in turn heal me as well so it's, it's therapy both ways it's therapy to you for what you're able to learn and it's therapy to me for myself saying it out loud and teaching myself that I am worthy and I am talented and I do have a purpose here and I will continue to fulfill that purpose. And whoever wants to join me on this journey is more than welcome to. Maybe this was a little too honest and maybe this is a little too emotional. Thank you so much for watching and supporting and loving horses as much as you do. So thankful for Briarfest and I hope to see you guys again next year. Just thank you, that's all.